I can't shake him. I'm on him, Luke. Wedge Antilles was an unsung hero of the Galactic Civil War. However, his upbringing was at Sky Strike Academy, a TIE fighter school for the Empire. Two years before the Battle of Yavin, Imperial forces murdered a surrendering rebellion crew, and that was all Antilles, who was a man of honor and ethics, needed to see to defect to the rebellion. Antilles would fight in the Battle of Autolon, where he would get his first look at Imperial walkers in action. Shortly after, Wedge crashed an A-Wing on a supply mission which caused him to break his leg in three places. Though at the time as part of the job, this event made him miss the Battle of Scarif and something he would come to regret after learning the news of the death of Blue Leader. Wedge would fight in the famed Battle of Yavin under the call sign Red 2, where he would play a significant role in helping Luke Skywalker destroy the Death Star 1. Skywalker and Antilles would continue to fly in Red Squadron for several missions, including one that oversaw the hijacking of the Star Destroyer Harbinger. In 3 ABY, the Battle of Hoth commenced, and Wedge was now a part of and one of the founding members of Rogue Squadron. There, Wedge was able to defeat an AT-AT, but the battle was at a loss and only allowed time for several rebellion transports to escape. <laughs> With the war coming to an end and Skywalker on the path to being a Jedi, Wedge would become the leader of Red Squadron and lead them into the Battle of Endor. Wedge and Lando were able to reach the reactor of the Death Star 2 and deal out a fatal blow. Though some historians see the Battle of Endor as the end of the war, soldiers didn't see an end. Wedge would go on missions to Malastair, the Outer Rim, the liberation of Kashyyyk, and for a time was a prisoner of war and was tortured. Around 2 ABY, the New Republic discovered an Imperial remnant on Jakku. And though for several reasons Wedge arrived late, he was able to take down several TIE fighters, troop carriers, and an Imperial Walker under the Phantom Squadron call sign. After the battle, Wedge would go on to retire with his new wife Nora on Akiva. It was there that Wedge learned of the death of his longtime friend Luke Skywalker, and he entered Lando's call for allies, which saw him as a gunner aboard the Millennium Falcon during the Battle of Mexico. Sadly, Wedge and Lando arrived shortly after Snap Wexley's death, which was his stepson. Wedge and Tilly's lived the life of a soldier, an unsung hero of the Rebellion, and the force was with him as I hope it is for you.